Hey internet, it's time for another plan with me video. I'm so excited to film this one because I'm planning for my trip in this one. And it's also the last plan with me video in this actual planner just because it is the end of December now. But I'm going to be filming three plan with me videos back to back so that I can show you guys what I'm doing on my trip. Then I'm going to upload them the week of, if that makes sense. In a way, you can kind of see what I'm doing and where I'm going on my trip just because I don't think I'll be able to do much online. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get online very much just because I'll be moving around a lot and doing lots of things. So I kind of wanted to take you guys along with me. It's a little bit similar to the Asia trip, but I think I've changed up how I intend to do the planning for it and hopefully it will be a lot better. Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I'm actually sad to leave this planner, but not too bad because it is thick and I just kind of want to start something fresh. So this is the week that I want to plan. I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit. There we go. And basically, I don't know if you can see the text, but I noticed that some people in the last Plan With Me video noticed the writing. I am flying out to Los Angeles on Christmas Eve. We're going to do a bunch of stuff. Then I'm driving down to Las Vegas. And then I am going to fly out to Yellowknife in Canada. I'm still trying to achieve the thing that I was trying to achieve last time I did a holiday plan with me, which was to make it very obvious that this is holiday mode, this is work mode. So I have printed out a bunch of my own stickers for my holiday planning just because I needed it to be pretty customized for it to work out for me. So we'll see how that goes because I think that some of the new stickers I've designed for myself, if that works out, then I might put them in the store as well. You guys let me know. But for this half of the week, it's still just business as usual. I'm still going to work these three days. Nothing really changes. And I wanted something pretty muted, pretty neutral to go for this. And I actually would still love to do something Christmassy because when else am I going to get a chance to do Christmas spreads? So I'm thinking of using this kit from Glam Planner. This kit was done, made by Elle Fowler, who, as you guys know, runs the channel All That Glitters 21. And she's kind of the reason I started planning, or at least she introduced me to the concept of planning, so it feels appropriate to finally start using some of her stickers. I love that it's all white, and so I think it would go really well at just making this a little bit more neutral and then having this more burst of colors. The only sad thing is, is that this is really meant to be used across one week, and I'm only using it for three days, so I feel like I'm not going to be using it properly, but that's okay will live and I'm sure she'll have other really amazing kits to use next year for Christmas. Alright, so I'm just going to start off on the first week. I'm going to keep them pretty separate, do all of this in one week and then the other next week just because it's so separate if that makes sense. So I haven't made any personal stickers at all for this side because her kit is so comprehensive. It literally has, literally has all the stickers I would need that I would typically use to film a spread. I'm going to actually follow the same format Elle would when she does the plan with me. So I'm going to put down the to-do stickers at the top. Love it, it's all coming together, it's all silver. I actually am not a fan of glitter for stickers, but I'm loving these ones. These are actually pretty cool. Go down to the bottom, I'm going to put down some of her washi tape. I'm only going to be able to use this strip. I can't use this, although maybe I might use it for next week, I'll see this down. I think it's actually thick enough that I won't have to... Yes, I won't have to white it out. Perfect! So, so cute. I'm gonna have to put a YouTube sticker here because I intend to upload this video on Tuesday even though I have been pretty horrible about the upload times. Here we go. Found another sheet. I think I had two more so this is the second last one. The bottom. There we go. It's gonna be for the plan with me. I'm kind of all over the place. I really should go back to working with this area. So I think what I'll do is I'll put the today's. Awesome. Love that it's completely changed the color scheme. I'm gonna put some little icons down at the bottom because I usually notice that she'll add them and then she'll put like the little things. So let's figure out what. I can see the green. <laughs> I'll white it out a little bit with some really bad white out tape. That's horrible. But I hopefully it's enough to not make it so obvious. There we go. So this side of the spread is pretty much done in terms of like full stickers. 
it's a very consistent theme, which I really like. I feel like I want to fill this side a little bit too, but I'm not really sure what I want to put down. I might use some of these full boxes on the left-hand side. I will admit that having a set that's kind of pre-done up for the intention of doing this, it's relaxing fun. Like, I still like coming up with my own themes using different kits and stuff like that, but it is refreshing to have a kit that comes with everything you need because you don't really need to think about it anymore. You can just kind of enjoy the process of putting it together. I mean, there's still some level of creativity in it because you need to do, you know, to figure out where you want to put certain things, but for the most part, it's a lot more, I find, kind of relaxing. I don't have to really think too hard about it. I think this spread is pretty much done. I'm going to zoom out so you can really see the difference. There we go. So we've got all this kind of winter wonderland theme going on and then we've got pretty much nothing going on here but I'm going to start working on this side and then pull back and see what everything looks like. Okay, so now on this side. This is the day I leave for LAX. So if you followed my previous travel plan with me videos, then you're going to know that I'm bringing across a couple elements that I thought worked really well. The things that I'm going to use are the same. Pretty much going to use the whole column, going to ignore these headers, just going to put a header at the top to indicate where I am at the time. I did like the fact that I had the flags to indicate which country I was in, so I'm going to use that again but most of it will be different. So for this one, I'm going to put down the headers for where I'll be, and I've kind of color coordinated as well. The colors kind of go together, but not completely. So we'll see. I'm just going to start removing some of these post-it notes because they're really unnecessary now. So basically, obviously we start off in Melbourne and we fly off to Los Angeles that day-ish. I mean, we leave at like 11 a.m on Christmas Eve in Australia and land at like 7 a.m. in America, Los Angeles time on Christmas Eve just because of the time difference. We're spending a full day in Los Angeles and then from Los Angeles we're going to Las Vegas and then from Las Vegas we are flying up to Yellowknife in Canada. I printed out like literally sheets and sheets and sheets of what I would consider like washi just to fill out the boxes so it has a bit more of a color scheme to it and I feel like every destination kind of has its own color scheme so this first one is this sort of pink one I'm commemorating as Australia and then this greenish one is for Los Angeles Las Vegas because it's very glitzy and then this winter theme for Canada because it will be freezing up there so I think I'll put down a little bit of I'm gonna try to just build it down this way. I think it's probably the best way to do it. I'm just totally winging this by the way. I don't know if it will work. Just like last time when I winged it, hated it and had to rip it all up. I hope that doesn't happen because I feel like I really thought about it a lot more this time but I guess we'll see. So I created these little like airmail tickets something like that. Basically the whole idea is that you can write where you're coming from, where you're going to and the time of the flight and because we are leaving Australia we need a little Australian sticker. Um, I might put it here. There we go. I'm going to use this check boxes by KG Planner because I'll be doing a lot of shopping this day because it's kind of the only day in Los Angeles that I'll be there when the shops are still open because when I was planning, I completely forgot that Christmas, everything would likely be closed. I'm warning you now, this plan with me is going to be everywhere because there's no real plan to it. Fill that in. I forgot, I need to put a USA sticker because we're landing in the USA. I do love how the Australian and USA flags do kind of match. That is unintentionally cool. So those are all the functional stickers done. I'm just going to keep going functional and then I'll probably do a decorative sweep on it later because I can't think that far ahead in advance. <laughs> so basically this is our free day in Los Angeles but most things are closed which is really unfortunate. I had not really thought about that in retrospect. That's not good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and fill it all out. I don't think I need to wipe these out because these are pretty saturated colors. I think it'll do a pretty good job at covering up. But let's see. I'm just going to blanket it all with these palm trees. Pretty blank for that day because we're still not 100% sure what's happening. But I might come back to it later after I can give it a bit more thought. Oh, I will put the USA flag top so I know which country we're in. 
Okay, so the next day we are going from Los Angeles to Las Vegas. We're actually going to be driving. I'm going to work at the bottom this time because I know what we're doing in the evening. So with the reason we're going to Los Angeles is because we're actually going to be seeing um, O, which is Cirque du Soleil underwater or water Cirque du Soleil. So I'm going to put that down here. The last time we went, we completely missed it. It wasn't playing during the time we were there, so I put that down to commemorate that we will be watching it. I can't wait, I'm so excited. And then I'm just gonna put some of the Las Vegas themed stickers now. I'll deal with it. There we go. And then I'm gonna put down a little half box just here. There we go. So it all looks a little bit more full and complete. So the next day, we are actually flying up to Yellowknife from Las Vegas. Oh, I forgot. Yep. <laughs> I have to put down a little USA. Uh, put it this way. Here we go. A little USA flag so I can see where we are. Alright, so there's actually a number of flights this day. And then some. Okay. Cool. Because basically we're going from Los Angeles into, into a Canadian city. I don't really remember the name right now. But I will call it up later. So I'll put a little plane ticket icon. I still need to do the bottom for this side, so I'm gonna pull these up. Half boxes done. Cool. Um, not too bad. I'm not. I'm not like. I'm not too bothered either way. So this is the entire spread. It's actually not too bad. I'm not. I think it still needs a few more extra things to make it to just kind of pull it together like obviously I need some weather icons and I need to fill everything in so yeah I think I might go ahead and try doing that okay I'm back I've added a couple things but not really a ton of stuff because I'm still kind of uncertain as to how things are going to play out and I kind of want to lock it down close to the date but I'll walk you through basically I put some weather stickers on I use the sweet kawaii design weather stickers I put them on the top for the days that I was still in Melbourne but then for the days I'm traveling I don't know if it's too far away basically I printed out these gray bars which I just put down and then on it I would put the icon sticker and then I would just put the high and low and the reason I did that is because in each of the places I go as you can see, the weather changes quite drastically. So in like Los Angeles, oh, by the way, this is in Celsius. If you're wondering why the numbers are so low and are based in America, we do Celsius in Australia, not Fahrenheit. So it's like 18 degrees to eight, which is not too bad. Then you get to like Las Vegas and it's more like eight degrees to minus one, but then you get down to Yellowknife and it's like minus 20, uh, minus 22 and minus 18, which is really cold. So I kind of just wanted to track the temperatures because that's kind of theme of this trip is that we're going to places where the temperature changes quite a bit. I'm closing down the store on Wednesday, so I need to make sure I do that. And just a few bits and bods, but nothing, nothing big at the moment, just because I, st it's still, it's only Saturday right now from the previous week. So I still need to make sure I do a whole bunch of other stuff and any surplus I will put down here which is usually how it works so thank you so much for watching I hope you guys have a great holiday off whether you celebrate Christmas Hanukkah whatever it is I hope that you are happy healthy and with loved ones this is Selena reporting from my room back to you internet <laughs>